What up, gamers? It's your boy, Cinnamon Toast Ken, and your other boy, Buff Pro. What? <laughs> and we're here to check out some ridiculous video game accessories that shouldn't exist. So if you're a hardcore gamer, leave a like because there's probably some things. There's a lot of really old things that a lot of you aren't going to know about, but we're going to... We know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to let you know. Oh, God. Bongo. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the DK Bongos. <laughs> These things came out around the time that the Guitar Hero was out. Remember that? Everybody was like, oh, why don't you play the real guitar? And I was like, because I can't. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, five buttons. <laughs> this, this is, I like this more. <laughs> so they had the Bongos and it's just two, two, it had like two buttons in it and you just hit it and then there's like, during in the game there was a clap option, I think. But you didn't yeah. actually have to clap, you just didn't hit anything, I think. It's is that, is that no, 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 I think I think there was a clap and I think there was like a edge of the drum. Really? There was like a smack and then like a like huh. an edge of the drum, maybe? I remember seeing that they had like the demo set up and I was watching people play this and I was like, you know, I'm a guitar hero master, let me play this thing and I got over there and I was <laughs> Of course, I, you know, almost perfect, but afterwards I just felt kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> just like, cool. About the only thing these things are really good for now, aside from, you know, not being very cool at all. <laughs> if you go into a house and someone's got this on the shelf, you're like, ah, yes. Uh -huh. Fellow nerd. You too wasted your money. <laughs> <laughs> Good favorite of mine right here are the Mad Cats Game Cube controllers. They're just mad. Oh, old school. Mad Cats has gotten a lot better. Old school Mad Cats controllers in general back in like early 2000s. Oh, gosh. Please, mom, let me have the extra $10. <laughs> yes. Please. Oh my gosh! They were uh, terrible, man. They were not good, but Mac, like I said, Mad Cats has come a long way. Their controllers are a lot better these days. But back in the day, <laughs> Jesus! So you can get yourself a comfortable hands-free holder for your Switch. There, right? You can just just tie it around your neck. And there's, amazingly enough, there's actually controllers on the side of it where you can hold it yourself. But I get it if you just want to put it around your neck. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, you gotta have it around your neck too. There's, there's someone out there that has this, and I'm like, I love it. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> So what is actually pretty useful here, and I think it's kind of cool, the Microsoft Xbox Adaptive Controller. You can play it with your your feet, pretty much. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play it with your feet. Now it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 made to help the the physical impaired play games. That's, okay. That's what the purpose is for. Okay, sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah. But Heck just yeah. imagine like you go up to your friend's house and he was not physically impaired at all, and he's got this sucker out and he's like streaming. He's like, yeah, beat Dark Souls with my feet. <laughs> and you're just like. You're sitting there like, let's play MK, bro. And he hands you a controller and he just sits there like this. Yeah. <laughs> My power. <laughs> Fool. Like, no. Your soul is mine. Fatality. But on the other hand of Xbox things, the old Duke controller, the original OG Xbox yes. controller, the uh. worst controller. <laughs> What? Ever? Are you serious? Ever? My this needs to go down as the most legendary controller in history of controllers. Oh it is amazing. This thing was so huge, and the, like you see, the, like the, the white and black buttons up there. Yeah. When you're playing Halo, you need those for like the throw your grenades. You had to remap, and your light and your flashlight, and you had to remap those because you couldn't move your thumb all because. <laughs> Look, look how far the sticks are apart from each other. You gotta like hold it like this and then move your thumb. No to the top way. To hit him. That thing was perfect. Either that or move your finger down to hit him. <laughs> I remember some one of my one of our other friends was describing it at the at one of our our lands back in the day. And they were like, "Oh man, hit Y." B, <laughs> X, <laughs> it's like, I gotta move my whole arm, dude. I'm like, no, you don't. Oh, it's man. the best. They had, to, they had to remake it. Yeah. It was, it was, it was with, not good. With the S controller. Yeah. Like they chopped off like half the spot. Like, look how big the Xbox symbol is in the middle. Dude, I used to have a skin. <laughs> I got a skin for this controller. The controller was so big, I got a skin for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to keep one. <laughs> Because the thumbsticks were so good. The the thumb, thumb, they the were great were actually, for Halo. The thumbsticks were actually good, but everything else, like, look how close the buttons are. Like, you try to push X and you hit, like, all of them. Yeah, well, they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were even at an angle. It was kind of weird. It was a little awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. So the Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller. I have one of these. <laughs> I have one of these. I, it just sits in the box. I mean, it's up there... Uh, the top right there. You see it up there? Thank yes, you. I do. Oh <laughs> my gosh. I mean, I'm not going to go get it out to show you guys. You can see the picture. Yeah. You're not actually ever going to use it. 
for anything ever because just imagine like you had like you're holding it like this you can like move one stick but you have to like hold it, it it's you gotta move your hand like it looks yeah like. it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good controller <laughs> but it looks cool <laughs> resident evil 4 ah that was good i like that guy. a lot of people don't like that game i like it a lot what are you buying yeah <laughs> stranger <It> flashes you <laughs> So you need a heater for your, your fingers while you're playing computer games? They got one. <laughs> Actual useful, but you come over there and you, they're gonna, you're going to be the biggest nerd <laughs> to ever play World of Warcraft. I've got my hand heater out, you know, yeah. keep my fingers warm. The Dragon Quest Slime Controller. It looks pretty, it's another It's another shelf warmer is what this is. Okay. Because all the buttons are on the bottom. You have to flip this thing <laughs> you gotta flip them over. upside down. <laughs> and you know, you got your, you got your controller in your lap and this little dude's a little pointy head just poking you in your sack and stuff. It's yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of these as well. Yeah. I, sh I was actually showing Dane the other day. I was like digging through some boxes looking for a cord and I have a steam controller still in the box unopened. Yeah. Because it's not a good controller. <laughs> He's like, dude, I got this. I was like, no way. That thing is terrible. Let me see it. <laughs> Look at that D-pad, dude. Like, I got it. It's just indentions they, on the circular plate. They were giving it away, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you only have one thumbstick. Like, just Yeah, just one. One, one. No, that I think that whole other right thing is on the other thumbstick. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine a first person shooting, you got this one thumbstick, and then your whole... <laughs> I don't know, man. So you got the, uh, <laughs> you got the Switch USB keyboard. Can you just imagine holding your whole keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> Playing some, playing some Smash, bro. Nothing yeah. no much. What are you doing? Yeah. Then you can put it down and talk trash. Yeah, get wrecked, son. <laughs> Go back to you got you got your switch hanging around your neck. <laughs> yeah. Got, got your hand warmers going on. <laughs> Beating people down, talking trash, playing the Xbox with your feet. Oh God, you can do it all. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know what this is. That was real? Okay, well, you can listen to the radio while you're playing your Game Gear. Is that what this is? No, it's a TV tuner. Wait, what does it do? Okay, I turn your Game Gear into a television. This picked up signal. Dude, the thing had a battery life of like an hour. <laughs> Dude, I know. How are you going to watch TV? <laughs> you catch the prices right while you're staying home while you pretend to be sick. Uh, Get your Game Gear out, watch a little TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dude, God. the Game Gears, man. Power Glove. It gets a lot of hate. That's the man, the Power Glove sure was. Almost cool. Like they had like a whole. There was a, a cartoon with the power glove in it. Captain Nintendo or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used the power glove. He would like put some stuff in, and then he would pull his little gun out and shoot the bad guys. And then this dude with the mustache, probably one of the few dudes that actually use this thing. I saw a video of a dude that beat Mike Tyson's punch out with the power glove. Oh, that's broke. That dude's a god. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. Is this a, the problem with a lot of these things way back in the day is that they just didn't work. Like they had like yeah. these cool marketing <laughs> ideas, but they just didn't do anything. Right. Like the power glove. It just. I mean, this it, was made for NES, right? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go out. In case you don't know, it had a total of two buttons. All right, how many buttons do you see on that thing? <laughs> Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I think it's a little too many, all right? Uh. This this whole controller is made for like one game. Yep, and it was $200. Yeah, you got your foot pedals and you got your... Just... Yeah, this is the one I was actually talking about. I didn't see the other one. This is the one some guy brought in one time at GameStop. He was like, you guys take this? I was like, dude, what in the heck is that? <laughs> yeah. Dude, what is that? You're like the only guy that owns this thing. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean, man? This is for Xbox. I'm like, please get out of my store. <laughs> <laughs> the Hori Katana controller. Just looking at it makes me want to just die. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I don't even know what this is right here. This is like a... Uh, compass. Is that... <laughs> I gotta know which, you know, which, which way you're swinging it. Right. <laughs> Anamusha 3? Anamusha, Anamusha 3 on the PS2 need its own controller. Mm. It looked like that. I wanted, okay, I wanted one of these Robs so bad when I was a kid. I, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It's like, it's a robot. It like does stuff. But in, in reality, it didn't do anything. It only worked with like a couple of TVs. And 
but ultimately you can only press two buttons on the controller, so it, <laughs> it couldn't do a whole lot. The best thing Rob ever did was become a playable character in Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, and it's not bad. It's not a bad one. There's so many weird Wii things. You got a bowling ball here. That has to be the thing that broke all the TVs, right? <laughs> That's what I was about to say. You know, people <laughs> throwing their controllers to the TV and then they got this thing. Look how big it is and like how small the wrist strap is. <laughs> I mean... No. Where's the holes? No. <laughs> how do you even grip it? I think you just like hold it and then just like literally throw it and like pull it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, look, don't throw out the, the Nintendo mouse pad and everything. Look, Mario Paint. Mario Paint! Mario Paint needed this, okay? Yes, it did. It may have been the only game, but it needed it. Mario Paint came with it, though. It's okay. But I don't know, it's up there. Yeah. Okay. It had a big box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you had to play that. You had to smack that. Uh, the flaws in the mini game. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you wouldn't do it with a controller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my brother made so many hit songs on that Mario Paint game. Yeah. Yeah, you ready to go make your music on that? Right. Oh man, how's the best part Dude. of it? Dude, my songs always suck. <laughs> Dylan made like full tracks. <laughs> <laughs> the NES Speedboard. Oh. Yes, this was created so you can push buttons faster. <laughs> it, it didn't do anything but hold your controller for you. You've put it in your lap. You snap the controller in, you can push buttons really fast, and that's all it did. <laughs> but if you no, kept your... No, you need the speedboard. Uh, <laughs> faster. <laughs> speedboard. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, look, the Sega Netlink, so you can get on your Sega Saturn and hook up to the internet that didn't really exist back then <laughs> and play Ooh. with no one else, because no one else had this. Yeah, heck yeah. Play Virtual Fighter with nobody. Dude, that one dude, maybe. You see how much that thing costs? It cost. Retailed it. $200? $200. What? Back in the day. Dude, that was more than your Sega Saturn. You worried about your other, your other siblings playing your Nintendo while you're not around? Don't worry. You can lock them out. You can literally lock your Nintendo. Your save files are safe. No one's playing Legend of Zelda without you around. Wow. That, how does it even connect? I don't get I it. I don't get it either. <laughs> looking the flap. At it's plastic. It's, <laughs> like, I don't you, like, understand. Just, like, just move it off to the side. Maybe when you unlock it, it, it like goes back in. It, maybe it just like extends. Yeah, well, I, I'm, reading, I'm reading the description down here and it says the lock wasn't that strong. <laughs> it was simple enough. <laughs> <laughs> you, can just get, you can just get in there. Uh, uh, you're better off hiding your games. Oh, snap! That's right! The Wii Inflatable Cart! That was a spot to put your controller under here so you can sit on the big inflatable <laughs> thing in your, in your living room and play Mario Kart! Yeah! Yeah! Too cool! Immersive, baby! It was awesome! <laughs> but not! It was terrible! <laughs> uh, it probably cost like 50 bucks and it pops as you sat on it. Yeah! <laughs> With the visor on, sort of like the Data Trans Network, okay? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. And then we have the Konami Laser Scope. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at that. It was great. It was so wonderful. Look how much fun he's having. Wow. Yeah. It was for, like, the, the NES. It, you, you bet it worked really well. <laughs> Just like all the other great accessories for yeah. the NES. So you, you, you're supposed to look through the screen, look at what you want to hit, target, kind of like the uh, the NES, you know, uh, oh, the light, light gun. gun. Yeah, and and you had to, like, it was voice activated. So you had to tell it to fire. So you're just sitting there looking at the screen. Fire, 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 bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> Every, all your friends from school that came over were just like, dude, this dude's so cool right now. Yeah, wow. Wow. Just Bro, amazing. save some for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> and by that, I mean the laser scope. Don't yes. buy them all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Man, gaming back in the day was, it was just, it was like the Wild West. Of innovation and and yeah, but did they? Did they really try that hard? Did they actually play with these things and be like, "Yes, kids will love this. <laughs> kids are gonna love this thing. This doesn't do anything. Ugh. It's gonna be great." Let us know down in the comments some of your fondest memories of old school gaming that scarred you for life. Yeah, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Nostalgia right there. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the <same is> <laughs>